Hi and welcome. Today I want to show you how to make such a FM type bass sound. When we are talking about FM or frequency modulation, we have to be very careful because there are different terms out there which can be quite confusing. Actually, there are three very similar types of oscillator modulations out there. They have all in common that you have two audio level oscillators and one is modulating parameters of the other one. There is for instance FM or frequency modulation, AM or amplitude modulation and PM which stands for phase modulation. So FM means that you are modulating the frequency of one oscillator. AM means that you are modulating the amplitude. And PM stands for the phase. What we have in the Blofeld is, as far as I know, true frequency modulation. If you want to rebuild patches like the ones from the Yamaha DX7, it can be that you're going to fail because actually the algorithm in the Yamaha is phase modulation, although it was advertised as frequency modulation. Complicated and confusing. But what we can do in the Blofeld is frequency modulation. And let's start with recreating this patch. I'm going to start with a complete new patch, like this one. And we're going to have a look directly on oscillator 3, which is going to be our modulation source. Remember, we need an audio level oscillator for, as a modulation source. So the LFOs are not fast enough for that. So we're going to use oscillator 3. And in the saw tooth shape, we're going to decrease the octave to 64. And we are going to reduce the level to 40 because we don't really need this oscillator to as, as an addition for our audio output. It's a modulation source. You can even turn it off completely if you don't want this slight amount of dirtiness in your sound. Okay, and now let's have a look on oscillator 1 and oscillator 2. Both are going to be wavetable types, and I'm choosing wavetable 5, the bell. I'm going to decrease the level to 100, because later we are going to increase the overall level with some distortion, but more of that later. So we decreased the level and I'm going to choose an octave of 16 foot because we want to create a bass sound. And just with every wavetable oscillator, I'm going to increase the brilliance to add more digital harshness to it. And as you know, the pulse width is the parameter to modulate wavetables. Actually, actually just here in water synthesizers, because pulse width normally is a different parameter which has something to do with square wave oscillators, not with wavetable oscillators. So this parameter has just in this synthesizer two meanings. Don't be confused when you're working with other synthesizers. And I want to modulate the wavetable with envelope 3. And now I'm going to apply very similar pr um, parameters to oscillator 2. So again, wavetable type. Again, decreasing the level. Again, wavetable to 0, modulation to maximum and modulation source is envelope 3.
now we want to um, create the actual frequency modulation. So let's go back to oscillator one and in the menu pages you can find FM source and FM amount. So let's choose oscillator three and let's increase the amount to let's say 70. Beautiful FM modulation. And let's do the very same to oscillator two. Here you have FM source as well. Let's choose as well oscillator three and increase the amount. Oh, I like that. That's beautiful. Now let's go to one more page in the oscillator section. We can add a unisono of three parallel voices and a detune of 20. Which just gives us a more softer basis and um, later also the possibility to spread the voices and the panorama to make a very fat sound. Now let's go to filter one, which is the typical water flow pass 24 dB type. Let's decrease the cutoff to 63. Increase um, the key track so that you get a natural, um, well, overtone spreading over the whole keyboard. And of course, we're going to modulate the cutoff with the filter envelope. And as I said before, I want to add some distortion to the sound. So let's go to the drive pages and choose the tube. And I like the tube type because you can use it um, to increase the overall gain if um, your output is too low, but you can also add a beautiful di soft distortion to the sound. And we're going to use filter 2 as well in serial with filter 1. And filter 2 is going to be a high pass 24 dB type with a very low cutoff of 30. Again, key track to 100%. And um, we can use this filter um, statically to reduce the amount of low frequencies. Let's compare it. This is a nice trick to get rid of very low frequencies. Sometimes frequencies that low that you can barely hear them. These frequencies um, are responsible for a very muddy and less transparent um, characteristic of your sound. And the more space you get in the lower frequencies, the higher you can um, turn up your uh, the, the volume of your sound, the louder you can make the sound because there is less energy in your overall track. And there's uh, more space, for instance, for a kick sound so that bass sound and kick sound are not interfering that much with each other. Now we can optimize our envelopes a little bit. For instance, we can go to the filter envelope and increase the release to 50 in the amp envelope as well so that we get a short release which leads to a more natural sound and we can increase the attack to 3 to 
um, to reduce this this clicky noise in the start of of the sound. And as you know, we are using envelope three as well to modulate our wavetables, so we can make some changes here as well. For instance, reducing the decay to 40 and decreasing the sustain to write through the whole wavetable. And finally, we can add some possibilities to modulate um, the sound while playing it and the modulation matrix. For instance, we can use the unisono voice modulation to modulate the panning of all three voices of our unisono setting. As you know, filter 2 is the outgoing filter, so we have to modulate the panorama of filter 2. But I'm going to leave this modulation to zero because I'm using modulation slot two. With the modulation wheel to modulate the amount of modulation slots one. That means the modulation wheel is um, the modulation source to modulate the amount of modulation slot one, which is um, modulating the panning with the voice number. Can be a, good, a bit confusing, but you have a modulation slot one, two, three, and four as modulation destinations in your modulation matrix. And you can use this trick for some kind of multiplication of two modulation sources. In, in uh, this example, the mod wheel and the voice number. And we can use modulation slot three to add some modulation with um, the aftertouch or pressure. And I'm uh, modulating the cut of filter one with some amount of 50 or 55. And that's the whole patch. You can go, for instance, to the effects section and choose bypass. If you need more voices, you can um, deactivate the things you don't need to increase um, the, um, the number of available voices in the blowfield. If you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. You can also consider joining as a member to my channel to get access to even more videos to the simulator software for the Blofeld as well as to patches for the world of Blofeld which I, uh, which I created. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and have a nice day.